All these. Oh. I've been flipping through the precinct's file on you, and wow, let's just say you don't have a lot of fans here. But you probably knew that already. Anyway, I've trashed some of the more ridiculous stuff. I mean, they're saying you kill people. And I know that's not your style. Fire damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad. Interesting. The fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. These prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Kane did to deserve this.
think about it. Don't take too long. I got a line of guys that would kill for this gig. Answers. Did Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane? <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. Alfred, let the GCPD know where they can find Kane's killer. You can forward them all the evidence, too. It's already done, sir. Dispatch, this is Officer Meyer. We got a hit and run just outside the precinct. Looks like it might be one of our own. Your request has been logged. All available homicide units are out on call. First one back is yours. to go. Thanks so much for doing this. Tonight's crazy enough already. If these guns got out there, I don't even want to think about it. This is definitely the last time we'll be speaking. And frankly, I'm glad. Your self-righteous posturing is getting on my nerves.
spit up that man, and you're going to be very, very sorry. helping me, Enigma. Did you ever consider maybe you're not as clever as you think? <laughs> Says the man who seems to have mistaken Christmas Eve for Halloween. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I've got the entire city under surveillance, feeding me all of its dirty little secrets. And I did it all on your watch, oh great guardian of Gotham. So, what do you have to say to that? I'm taking your network down. <laughs> Spoken like a true Neanderthal. Well, you can certainly try. Enigma's extortion data. Where is it? If I tell you, you'll let me go? Talk. Okay. They're close by. I'll show you where.
You heard the latest? Say I'm gonna kill this spree. you whatever you want to know, please. You've hidden extortion data for Enigma. Tell me where it is. No. No, no problem. No, no problem, man. I'll, I'll take you to it myself if you want. together is kind of fun. I mean, we're actually getting stuff done. And my dad thinks I'm just sitting in his office texting and watching TV. If only he knew.
solve a problem. obstacles beyond smashing them. Who needs doors anyway? We just agreed to disagree and go our separate ways. I don't think so. What's wrong with you? It's not like I'm backing the bad guys here. Well, not usually. You're invading people's privacy. You got how many assassins running around out there, and you're lecturing me on selling personal information? Way to prioritize. You're going after Gotham Optics next? Or maybe some telemarketers? Ooh. If that information gets into the wrong hands, people could get hurt because of you. And people do get hurt because of you. So I assume you'll be handing yourself over to the police now? <laughs> That's what I thought. I've planted three bombs. Little moths to the light. Play it on over. You 
want to know what I've done. And if you don't, too bad. You can't shut me off any more than you can the billboards, or the branding on your clothes, or the flyers that litter the streets, or the sound... We gotta shut them down to shut them up. Otherwise, we'll never be free. I'm in your head. Just like them. But I'm the menace? Here I am, trying to educate. You don't want to hear it. You just want to buy it.
were run just outside JCPD. This was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by internal affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car. And cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name. John DeMarco. Time to pay him a visit. Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick, but the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor. You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges, but now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. <laughs> Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. Dispatch, do you copy? Go ahead. Got a body down here. Mid-30s, no ID, no witnesses. Injuries are consistent with repeated blunt force trauma. Requesting a homicide team on site. Copy that. We'll send you our first available.
I suspected. Mine is the superior intellect. No hard feelings, I hope. Save me. I'm out of here. You must be feeling pretty good about yourself, Batman. I mean, you took down all the towers, which means you foiled my plan. Except, oh wait. I already have all the data I need. And as soon as I'm done uploading it, so will everyone in Gotham. There's still time for me to put an end to this. True, there is. Just not very much. It was a valiant attempt, though. You get an A for effort, but an F for impact. Thing. Not a chance. It's way too heavy. Go, guys. Ask 
did most of it, but I helped, right? I think we make a pretty good team. So if you're ever, like, I don't know, looking for some kind of partner, I'm here for you. Anyway, I'll let you get back to kicking ass and keeping us safe. And you'll see, one day my father's gonna figure out just how cool I already know you are. I've planted three bombs. Right, you know. Cops don't care about us. We're better off without them. You already knew that, didn't you? Speak. Who are these people, really? We're trying to. targeted you spared them sorry to disappoint you disappoint me not at all come on down to the courthouse so we can continue gotham's trial
I'm so glad you came. It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. You're just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. Let's make an example out of him! What does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. The police are on their way. You ever wonder how things got to be so bad here? I do. All the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepot are responsible. They're just a reflection of our apathy, our greed, our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour, bury ourselves in our jobs, consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. The message is always the same. Don't think, don't question. And what becomes of a society that's given up? It rots. Fills up with liars, cheaters, and thugs. Uptown and downtown. The suit in the penthouse is no better than the guy selling drugs in the corner. They're both doing whatever it takes to get ahead. Never mind the cost. Fidelity. Once upon a time, that's what defines society. People coming together in pursuit of common cause. To care for each other. To protect and provide. We took shelter from the darkness and the things that roamed it. Community meant progress. But now, it's all backwards. We worship at the altar of competition. We build fortresses around ourselves. We fight, we betray. We have become the things we feared. You keep cleaning up after everyone, Batman, and no one's going to learn to take care of themselves. The ones that don't hate you, they'll start to rely on you, depend on you. And if something happens to you, if you get old or bored or die, then what? Or do you not consider the world that revolves around you? You're a hypocrite, running around dispensing justice, telling people what they can and can't do. You're ensuring Gotham's freedom, provided it conforms to your twisted view. Whatever pleases the bad, that it? You're not a hero. You're a despot. You don't enforce justice. You suppress it. There's a way to make this work. To show you that we share the same goals. Maybe I took things too far with the bombs and the threats. I, I can learn from that. I mean, you could be a mentor to me. 
And maybe, well, maybe I can teach you something too. Because I think you're so busy playing hero, you've forgotten what it's like for the rest of us. We're not all as strong as you. We don't have the fancy gadgets, the, the strength, the skill. But, but, but maybe that's the problem. You've gotten so used to the power, you think you're better than everyone. Above reproach. Is that it then? We're not as good as you? You know what? I take it back. I don't want to work with you. You don't have anything to offer. I think I figured it out. You didn't take me down because I broke the law. No. No, no, you took me down because you don't want the competition. That's what this is really about, isn't it? Let me ask you something. You ever wonder if you're the reason the city's so messed up? Because I have. A lot of us have. But I'm starting to think we're right. Right. The guy's a beast. Goes through all that crap tonight, and the first thing he does is get the business back up and running. Heard his girlfriend got popped, too. Damn. Takes a cold man to shrug off something like that. That's why he calls the shots. Doesn't get distracted. They say the penguin was behind the boss's kidnapping. Wouldn't surprise me. Those two ain't exactly friends. Yeah, but I thought we had a truce. Oh, <laughs> You know how much this stuff's worth? More than us, apparently. What's your problem? Guess you haven't heard. All right, this area's mine. Whoa, what do you mean? Where do you think everyone else is? They got taken out. Man, I hope the boss gets here soon.
I was hoping you'd show up. Saves me the trouble of having to hunt you down. You just don't know when to quit, Sionis. Guess we've got that in common. One way or another, I'm taking you in. Now we can do this the easy way, or... Yeah, yeah, or, or the hard way. But I think you know my choice. Then we've got that in common, too. I've got the numbers here, but... I can do this all night. You ready? We got him, we got him! You really should mind your own business, Pat. Ah. Are you ready? Take off now, and I'll consider not coming after you. You really wanna spend the night screwing around with me in here? GCPD know Roman Sionis has been apprehended. They can pick him up at the church. Straight away, sir. You know what's so great about you, Batman? Even when I lose, I win. So go ahead, call the cops. They'll lock me up, sure. But my lawyer will have me out on bail before the sun's up. And you know what I'm gonna do when I get out? I'm gonna dedicate every waking minute to tracking you down and taking you out. And the best part is, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Because that justice system you love so much, it's a scam. And you, <laughs> well, you're the mark. Because you keep tossing us in, and we keep bouncing right back out. patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. belong to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. 
Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Shadow from his dreams, the one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw he would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. Uh. Out. Dispatch, this is Officer Franklin. Go ahead and let Homicide know that the Park Row crime scene has been secured. Oh, and tell him to bring a second meat wagon. We got two DBs down here. Shot dead. I know them. This is Horace Riley. Heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. Reconstruction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. Did this. Alfred, 
I need a location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horace, too. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well. like it is on TV. You don't get to live happily ever after with the woman you love. Instead, she leaves you for your best friend. Sorry, man. You didn't mean to bring it all back. It's fine. It's fine. Just give me a minute. I know exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I, I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious. Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. What, what the hell's wrong with you? Alfred. Let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm? Hello? Batman? Do you copy? Gordon. Sorry to, uh, interrupt. Barbara gave me this frequency. I, uh, well... I thought you might be able to help me with something. Is there a problem? That depends. If we can contain this in time, it should be okay. Contain what? We've got some Blackgate escapees stirring up trouble in the city. And after tonight's events, I'm a little short-staffed at the moment. So you want me to bring them in? Well, that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do.
freak! Let's gang up on him! I'll split you right down the middle! You have information you've collected for Enigma. Where is it? It's... it's close. I'll show you. It's all for me! Why do you even care if I go back or not? Because that's what I do, and because it's what you deserve. <clears throat> Gordon, I've got an escaped Blackgate prisoner at my location. You're right, but I can make sure you're still here when the GCPD does. Gordon, send your closest unit to my location.
I know Enigma hired you to collect dirt on your gang. So where is it? And if I tell you where I hid it, I walk, right? Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. Okay, tough guy, you win. Uh, I'll tell you what you want to know. do to me back at Blackgate. The guards are worse than the prisoners. That's all going to change now. Gordon, send someone you trust to my location for a Blackgate prisoner pickup. you to collect information. Where is it? Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I ain't got no reason to hold out on you. Enigma ain't paid me yet. I'll show you. Smart move.
you a free man. Eat. I'm starving. You seem to <laughs> You freak! I'm looking forward to it. Bring your friends, too. Gordon, another scumbag at my location for pickup. I know you're working for Enigma. Where's the data you hid for him? It's right over there, you son of a... Another escapee from Blackgate. Send someone to my location.
I need a place to hide. What did you expect, busting out a black gate like that? No, man, it's not the cops. It's, well... Spit it out. It's some guy with a boomerang. You mean Batman? That's not a boomerang. It's a, a batarang, I guess. No, definitely not the bat. Dressed totally different. Calls himself Captain and... Look, can we finish this conversation somewhere else? Somewhere safe? Got another escaped prisoner waiting for pickup. for the Arkham Ward. They want to bring a muzzle. He's a biter. Savior of the city or something. Something like that. Gordon, I've got another prisoner for pickup.
at Blackgate. The chaos escaped. But what of Bane? I see! Follow me! behind us I ain't going back you can't make me yes I can Gordon send someone to pick this scumbag up Enigma's data. Where'd you hide it? Okay. You win. I'll show you. Oh. over. You're going back to Blackgate. Please! No! It's horrible there! Don't send me back! Should have thought of that before you signed up to be a mob hit man. <clears throat> Gordon...
walked on out. The place was all busted up and the guards were gone. You're telling me you just strolled out of Blackgate and no one said a thing? Well, people said things. Stuff like, help me, and I'm on fire, and oh my god, the Joker's gonna kill me. I didn't stick around to see how it all shook out. Send over a unit, Gordon. I'm leaving a package for them. Someone, where's the data you found? You, you got nothing on me. You, you can't prove that. I don't need to. Now where is it? Don't, don't. I'll talk. I'll talk. I ain't talking. I suggest you reconsider. Not worth it, man. Not worth it. Fine. You win. I'll show you. I'll show you where I stashed it.
Find the blackmail data you collected for Enigma. I'll tell you. The hell, I'll even show you. <coughs> Just don't kill me. Smart. Oh. Exactly easy to access at the moment. GCPD is on their way. So? I ain't sticking around the way for them. Yes, you are. Oh. Gordon, found another one for you. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by.
January the 13th, 1855. The moment of my death approaches, and there is naught I might do to stop it. I dare dream of greatness, but in the process, I forgot that such ambition oft demands a heavy price. Still, I pay it gladly, for knowing that Gotham has become a city whose magnificence will echo across the ages, but... Its origins must not be forgotten. And so, I have scattered my journal across the city, placing pages where I believe they shall endure. Find them, read them, then share what lies within. For though the truth may not be so beautiful as the legend, it is necessary all the same. April the 22nd, 1846, our recent financial troubles have forced us into business with one Henry Cobblepot, a print magnate of questionable repute. The man cares little for me and my base station, as he put it. And so, the negotiations are left to Solomon. But I fear his idealism shall lead us down a treacherous road for Cobblepot is a sneak, and surely his sweet words mask a nefarious intent. August the 11th, 1851. I fear I have angered Henry Cobblepot, but he sought to build over the last remaining vestige of the original Gotham, and I could not allow it. Solomon and I went before the mayor and bade him support us. Henry was opposed, insisting his work was necessary for Gotham's financial security. I think it's more to do with his own. 
Solomon Wayne's Hotel put Cobblepots out of business. I do wonder if Mr. Wayne erred in opening that place. But what's done is done. February the 7th, 1852, I have met the most extraordinary young man by the name of Amadeus Arkham. Though still just a student, he exhibits an intelligence unmatched by even Gotham's most learned. He is possessed with a kind heart as well, and seeks to help those who all others have abandoned. Rehabilitation instead of incarceration. It is the most progressive notion, and one that few of his peers support, but I believe. And so, I shall provide him with plans for the greatest asylum the world has ever known. I know Enigma hired you to collect information. Where have you hidden it? Let me guess. If I talk, I get to keep my throat? Smart choice. Same old, same old.
April the 3rd, 1853. I am sorry, Solomon, to have gone behind your back, to have bargained with the devil. But the accounts have run dry and our work is but half begun. I had no choice but to approach Henry Cobblepot. The others would contribute no more. He consented to my request, though I fear it will come at a great cost. For now, he says, I owe him nothing. But how long until I do? Me like you did them other guys. I ain't like them. Tell me where you've hidden the information you've gathered for Enigma, and I'll think about it. Anything, anything, please. Scumbags Enigma hired to collect information. There are others? I thought... Shut up. Just tell me where you hit the extortion data. Okay. You win. I'll tell you where it is. stronger prison. Maybe something surrounded by water. Penguin always stinks like rot. Gordon, there's another Blackgate prisoner at my location for pickup. Put him somewhere dark.
Blackmail data you collected for Enigma. Where is it? Okay, okay. Just don't hurt me. left for us normal guys in Black Gate. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll make space. Gordon, send a unit to my location for a pickup. So what's the plan for tonight? What do you mean? You casing any place? Drop shop looking for fresh parts? I mean, there's gotta be something, right? You've been out of Blackgate how long? And you're already looking to get into trouble? Trouble? I'm looking to get paid. I'll see what I can find. Joker chose me! He chose me! Tell him I said hello. Gordon, this one's lost it. I recommend Blackgate's Arkham Ward.
Look, I, I don't want any trouble. Please, don't hurt me. You can send me back, and I'll get out again. I wouldn't count on it. Gordon, got a package at my location ready for pickup. True what they say? Did you kill Bane? No, he's behind bars, and soon you'll be too. Gordon, dispatch your closest available unit to my location. I got multiple calls available. Enigma gave you something to hide. Where is it? I... I, I can't. I, you... No! I picked them up this afternoon from the courier and hid them around the neighborhood just like the boss asked. I was just following orders.
I'm not with those guys. Enigma hired you to collect information. Tell me where it is. What? I don't know what you're... The extortion data. Where is it? Oh, oh, that extortion data. I gotta find a new line of work. Oh! usually how it goes. They're gonna extend my sentence, too. They only had a few more months left. I should have stayed put. Shouldn't have said that. <clears throat> Gordon. you were dead. So where is the extortion data? All right. All right. Damn.
should have thought of that before you signed up to work for Enigma. Where's the blackmail information you collected for him? Okay, okay. Please. What I want is for you to be off the streets. Gordon, Blackgate prisoner at my location waiting for pickup. You've got three seconds to tell me where you hid the extortion data for Enigma. You're a dead man. Three. Brandon and the boys will take you down. Two. Okay, okay, stop. Just stop. I'll tell you where it is. Look the other way, huh? 
I'll make it worth your while. Not interested. <laughs> Gordon, send a unit to my location. I've left you another Christmas present. All right, that's the last of them. Thanks, Batman. I owe you one. Then do me a favor. Tell your people to back off and let me do my job. I'll think about it. Don't take too long. I've got a feeling we'll be doing this again soon. Your achievement signals a level of intellect rarely seen in Gotham. It seems you're quite the riddle. Now, don't get too comfortable. You see, I learned something else tonight. The nastiest, dirtiest little secret you can imagine. It puts the rest of my collection to shame. But I'm going to wait to release it, if only because it means I get to watch you squirm as you wonder what on earth it is. I'll be in touch soon. Looks like he's no longer an imminent threat. I can close this case. For now, at least. the data drive. Looks like it's part of a larger set. If I can collect enough of these, I should be able to read the file.
December the 22nd, 1854. I fear I am not long for the world. Henry Cobblepot finally came to collect, and I refused. He wishes to open a munitions factory inside the city. This is not part of the plan, and it works against everything we've accomplished, to say nothing of the danger to Gotham citizens. I went to the mayor and begged him to introduce a bill banning the endeavor. Thankfully, he agreed, but I'm sure to be punished for my betrayal. It's only a matter of how and when. January the 11th, 1855. I've accepted the invitation, knowing it means my death. Henry Cobblepot claims it's merely a party to celebrate my 40th birthday. He insists that he's forgiven my past transgressions, turned over a new leaf, as it were. But I know better. With me gone, he will use his wily charms to see the law changed and his factory built. Already there are rumors that his son, Theodore, intends to run for mayor. Victory is all but assured. I will hide this journal of mine in the hopes that someday it might be found. To go public now, before my work is done, will put it all at risk. It must wait. But I hope in time, my words are brought to light. January the 14th, 1855. My God, it worked! <laughs> Amadeus truly is a genius! Oh, you've come this far, dear reader. Allow me to explain. I learned Cobblepot intended to poison me, and so we endeavored to replace his tainted wine with one of our own creation, as expected. I choked, I sputtered, and then... ah. Oh, I passed, but it was not poison I consumed, rather something made by Amadeus. His concoction enabled me to enter a soporific state so profound that even to the keenest of physicians, I appeared a corpse. <laughs> Yet here I am, resurrected, and now I will have my revenge. Henry Cobblepot will pay for what he's done. An interesting turn. In trying to solve one murder, you've discovered the origins of another. Henry Cobblepot. Yes. City records say it was an automobile accident that killed him not long after Cyrus's supposed passing. But now we know the truth. He was murdered by the man he thought he killed. What about Pinckney? It appears that's a mystery that must endure a while longer.
Evening, sir. I've seen a rather large bat in the cave, sir. Do take care not to anger it. I wasn't planning to. Good. With everything occurring tonight, the last thing we need is a pest problem. I'm sure it's harmless, Alfred. You haven't seen the creature. January the 14th, 1855. 